Hi, I'm Mark from LM Spawn Engine. Today we're working on a Briggs and Stratton snowblower. It's an S1227 model. It has a 250cc Briggs and Stratton engine on it. It's basically brand new. It's only been used once, like two years ago. We had a big storm beginning the winter, and that's probably the last time we had a big snow. So the gas near sat for a year, year and a half. So we're going to go ahead and take the tank off, clear it out, take the carburetor off and boil it out. So hope you enjoy the video. Okay, first of all, we're going to take this cover here off. <coughs> then we're going to take this panel here off so we can get to the four bolts, hold the gas tank on. But first we'll take this here off. These are eight millimeter heads on here. We gotta pop this top thing off. It's all plastic. That shaft is all plastic and everything, so we gotta be really careful with that. Very, very careful pulling this up because like I said, it's all plastic. And it only goes on one way, so I can't get it in the wrong place. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Unhook, unhook the kill wires. Then the primer. I ain't supposed to drop, but at least we got it off. Back in place. Okay, now we're gonna unhook the fuel line. Here's your on and off switch right here. Just make sure it's off when you take this off or all that old smelly gas is gonna get over everything. Okay. Now we'll take this cover off here. Gonna pop that off. Side. And there's two bolts here and there's two bolts in the back to hold the gas tank on. 
And we got one bolt over here, but we have to take the the plug-in for the electric starter. We have to take the top of that off to get to that bolt. This is what I'm talking about right here. The bolt's right back here. So there's two Phillips screws here, and there's one on the back. Just take this top. We're not going to take the starter off. This this top piece. Move up the side, and there's that bolt right there. So we'll go ahead and pop that off. And there we go. So now we can concentrate on taking the tank off. That's 10 millimeter. And there's two in the front and two in the back. Go grab the two in the back right now. Okay, now the tank will just slide straight up. And I got a special barrel out back. I can jump this whole gas in. And we gotta clean this tank out. There's baffles inside of it, so you have to use your air hose. And make sure you get every last drop out of here. Let's concentrate on taking that carburetor off now. So we can get that in the boiler. And these are 10 millimeter too. And we gotta loop this around, unhook the governor linkage and there we go you can just see that old gas sticky old gas on the side there i'll pop this bowl off and show you how bad the inside is Find a wrench for that.
Look at that. This yellow. That's ethanol. That's why I never recommend using ethanol in small engines. It just nasty. We'll go ahead and stick that in the ultrasonic boiler and we'll put a new needle in the seat. All that good stuff in it, it should be good to go. Okay, we got it boiled out. See how much nice and cleaner it is? So before it puts us together, Make sure when you spray carburetor cleaner in there, you can see it going in here. And that bolt on the bottom, that's where your jet is. There's two holes on the side here and one on the center. That one's one that gets plugged up. So if it's plugged up, like stick a wire in there and clean it out and cover one of the holes. And spraying the other, and you can see that it will shoot out the jet. So that means your jet's nice and clean. So we can put it together. So we'll grab a new bowl gasket. Tuck it in there. And we'll put our new needle and seat in there. So there's like a little hook on there. Just go ahead and Just like that. And we'll put our pin in. Like that. So if you blow in here. So we'll go ahead and put the bowl on. And our new gasket. And go ahead and tighten her up. There, now we can go ahead and put this thing back together again.
So now we'll grab that spring. How it goes in that little hole. Go ahead and hook up the linkage. Got our bolts back in there. and everything works good so now we can go ahead and put the gas tank on it and make sure you blow out your tank really good with air after you drain it get all that old gas out of there It's on there like that. Like I said earlier, there's two bolts in front. Two in front and two in the back. Don't tighten them first up till you get the ones in the back starting. I'm going to install a fuel line. Go ahead and put the clamp back on. There, now we can put that front cover on and this has to be in that position there because there's a slot here. Slot right here where it goes on that, so. Just like that. I'm gonna put them three bolts on there. side here now we can install that starter thing okay I started these two right here because there's a slots in here Tighten these two in the front down. Double 
check in there. Okay, now we're going to start putting the stuff on the carburetor now. So let's go ahead and put that primer hose on. Plug in the key switch. Slip it on there. Get that put on there. Sure, all that works. Now we're gonna put the side cover on. Okay, so now what I'll do is take this off the table, put some gas in it, and see if it'll start. And when you're dealing with something with old gas, it'll always check your oil make, and smell your dipstick, make sure there's no gas in your oil. If there's gas in your oil, make sure you change it so it don't blow your motor up. So we'll get this off the table here so we can get it started. Okay, we got off the table. I put gas in it. What I use around here is premium. So turn the key switch on, make sure it's on choke, turn the fuel on, have the throttle all the way on fast, push your primer button, and then we'll go ahead and see if it starts.
hope you enjoyed the video. I have a lot more videos out there. So thanks for watching and have a good afternoon. Hi, this is Mark from LM Small Engine. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Thanks.